Support for 100 Watts in a Wire is provided by BioNO Power. If you're looking for a power solution, check out BioNO Power, offering the best performance lithium phosphate batteries for your ham radios. Visit BioNOPower.com. That's B I O E N N O P O W E R.com. Or contact dealers nationwide. And ICOM, contest remotely or from the comfort of your own home. ICOM has the perfect base station. The IC9700, 7610, or the 7300 SDR transceivers are the top of the line and are the first choice for contesters across the globe. Robust base stations like these cut through pileups, letting you work the bands and record those contacts. Stay connected and keep your competitive contesting edge. Visit icomamerica.com slash amateur for more information on all ICOM radios. And now, from Grid Square Echo Mike 48, this is 100 Watts and a Wire. Well, good morning. Good, mo- good morning. I don't even know. I don't know. It's already we're starting off. What, what's firing off now? Look at this. You have one of these months. Oh, Lord. I'm going to hear myself talking in a second. Well, good morning. Same old Christian. Same old Christian. They're like, what's going on with the show, man? I don't know. Same old uh, nuttiness. But look who's here. Sidecar Steve is here whenever I start to get sweaty in the first 30 <laughs> seconds. Bring on Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow, wow, we wow, here we go. Hello, everybody, and thank you uh, for stopping by. I appreciate uh, your time. It is Sunday, and you're thinking to yourself, what's happening? I mean, what is going on uh, with this guy? So, anywho, as I was saying, I don't know, we just got uh, knocked off. You still there, Steve? Oh, boy. It's one of those nights, and it really it put a, little, a lot of show prep, too. Good evening to you. Uh, we've got the Sunday evening HF net rolling with us. We're also doing a live show. 100 Watts and a Wire is now moving to Sundays. I told you a little bit about it. If you've been following on social media, let's get Steve in place here uh, as well. We also have Uncle Paul. Uncle Paul is running the net. He's looking for a spot. It is uh, Memorial Day weekend, and it is just what the kids call cray cray. And uh, it's, it's hard to uh, find a spot on 40 meters, which is uh, totally fine. We can actually peek in. Uh, there's Uncle Paul there. He's waiting patiently looking for his uh, spot. And we'll check in with him. Yeah. We've actually started a stream. We've lost a stream. <laughs> and we started the stream back up again. So it's still the same old 100 watts in a wire. Watts in a wire. <laughs> there you go. Same old stuff. My name is Christian. Same Sykes. old stuff. Sidecar Steve is here uh, with me tonight, and uh, I want to talk about uh, how nutty August has been. So nutty. And sometime in early August, you know, I was getting the word that uh, my daughters, which are in that 11 and 7 year old bracket, were, you know, their school. Now that the COVID is sort of getting better, I'm going to say that loosely by, you know what I mean, kids are back in school better. Um, so they're both doing school, they both have activities, they have all these things, and life is happening. And in August, I was like, okay, what am I going to do here? What am I going to do with the show? Because I love the live streaming aspect of this. It's really fun. I know Steve gets a kick out of it as well. We can have our nets. You know, Steve and I are planning a get-together. We're going to call it DP. More on that <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it, Steve. No, no, Cause no. Because no. the YouTube won't understand. But some, some people may know what that acronym is. But we're talking about getting on the air together like the old days, uh, taking calls, uh, just having a good old time on the air. Because mm-hmm. I'm frankly getting rusty because I, I can't tell you when the last time I made a contact was. It was recently, but it was probably quick. And I need to, you know, you got to stay fresh mm-hmm. up on your game. That's kind of... So we're looking to do things, but I really needed to reshuffle what I was doing. Now, 100 watts in a wire, when I first started, I would record at 5.30 in the morning on a Monday. And it was audio, and it didn't matter, right? Now that we're kind of, you know, we're we're into the YouTube realm here. We're streaming. Mm-hmm. We tried a little Twitch here, but kind of, you know, leaning more toward the YouTube side because of the streaming aspect of it. 
But I'm like, okay, so I need to figure out a time it's going to work, man. I can't bring Steve in here at 5.30 my time <laughs> on a Monday morning. Now, if it was just audio, and I did, I thought about it, Steve. I'm like, man, maybe I just need to go back to audio and do some special stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway, as nutty as things got for August, I think now I would love to do this stream in this slot because we have our net. You mm -hmm. can see here. Uh, that Uncle Paul is working somewhere. I, I have to find his frequency. I'm not quite sure where he is right now. We will figure it out. Let me let me take a look on uh, NetLogger. Yeah, see, he'll get it up there, and we'll we'll mention where everybody is. Um, but I appreciate everybody's patience. Did he did he have it? Seventy two thirty nine. Oh, seventy two thirty nine. So our audio listeners, mm -hmm. this is a to encourage you, you know, to. Join the YouTube channel. Search for 100 Watts and a Wire on YouTube. Join us there and participate in our nets because I know you're going to be hearing this after the fact now, uh, but you'll be part of the show if you do it. Let's see, 7239. Let's go over here and dial that in. It's a live show, so we'll go. There he is. There he is. So, Uncle Paul. There you go. So I think what we're going to be doing now is on Sunday, and I talked to Steve, uh, I guess yesterday or the day before, and, you know, just share my thoughts. We're already here. You know, we're already here. We've been here for a long time. The frequencies change, but I'm here. You're here. Uncle Paul is here. Let's just do it. It was just a natural fit. It just yeah. it made sense. You know, I, I know in August things were so nutty and going on, it was like, we, we couldn't see the forest through the trees. And uh, and then finally got to a clearing, and here we are. Well, Sunday I want to say publicly thank you to Steve because I've had a couple of these things happen. And it, over the years, since 2015, we've had to pivot <laughs> uh, more times than, I mean, like more Magic Johnson over here. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a fun <laughs> reference, man. We're Magic yeah. Johnson over <laughs> here. Oh, dear. Welcome back. Except right? I can't dribble the ball. <laughs> can't dribble, but the Johnson is magic. Whatever. Sorry, guys. It's I got a lot of problems, as you know. But uh, I appreciate Steve's patience, everybody's patience. I've been trying to restructure, rebrand some stuff. I started a new channel where I can uh, talk to different people, you know, about radio, not just this kind of radio, but other kind of broadcast radio, mm -hmm. different topics. And uh, everybody's welcome over there, too. But just figuring everything out. So thank you for your patience, Steve. Sidecar, I, I appreciate it. And I, I appreciate your friendship in the fact that Steve's not, like, pissed off or put off. It's just like, you know, it's kind of life happened to us. And if you got uh -huh. a kid or two or more, you know what this is about. Mm -hmm. You know this is how it goes. So uh, there you go. I'm going to go and quickly spot... Uncle Paul here. He's on 7239, guys. And I know if you're listening to this uh, in the podcast side, you know, join us on Sundays live. You can watch the show happen, listen and take it with you if you want. Uh, but join us. I'm unable to get logged on. I don't know what's happened. I can't really spot Uncle Paul. But if you guys can do that, go ahead and do that. That way we can ensure he's got somebody to talk to. Well, now that all that is out of the way, how have you been? People are saying, where's Sidecar? What's he doing? Does he still climb up the towers? What's he up to? And uh, catch well, us up. What have you been up to? Well, speaking about that, I have been uh, pretty much uh, been retired from climbing at work, that is. So uh, we have a limited number of slots that uh, in our in our department that are uh, certified tower climbers. So... I was going to let my current certification go till next October and then uh, step away from the uh, climbing. But we got some uh, new employees. Uh, <laughs> you, you talk about August being crazy. We've, we've hired on four new employees, and uh, so we're trying to get all the training and everything. So uh, uh, one of them showed a lot of interest in uh, tower climbing, is going to the uh, to the class to get uh, his... Uh, his competency done you know he'll be uh, tower competent and yeah. uh, and so uh, they've uh, management asked me if I was willing to uh, step back and I said sure 
that's you know I've been climbing since 18 and I'm uh, you know gray hair now so it's been a long time so but I'll still be climbing uh, you know personal but uh, at work it's uh, my hooks are hung up as we say it in the utility industry well I think I think that's worth congratulations because I remember you've been talking about this moment you were thinking like mm-hmm. maybe another year I don't know I want to pull back so this didn't come as a surprise to you and it doesn't sound no. like it it's offended you any I know you you'd probably prefer being uh, on yeah, the ground. Yeah, I wanted to go till the end because that way, you know, the company got their money's worth out of my training. But uh, mm. they asked and it was like, hey, we don't want to increase the number. And it's like, okay, I got it. And uh, so <laughs> that was, uh, it's a done deal. So I was officially retired. Oh, no, wor- no worries. Climbing, I, think that it, is. I think it's great. I think it's great for you. I'm having a little net logger issue here. Sundays are pretty busy around the ranch because I'm... Mm-hmm. Uh, we're trying to jostle. I want to spot up. Uh, and I lost the light. We'll bring that back. This is good for the audio, folks, because you don't have to worry about this aspect of it. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to try to get our friend uh, spotted up. Get him spotted so we can see. So anyway, and then I can pull back my internet. But things are getting a little wacky over here, Steve. I don't get it. I don't know, it's a little weird. I'm a little weird. A little... My, my interwebs is weird. I'm losing. I got a screen down. Good grief! It's the Labor Day weekend. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. Yeah, I'm actually. I got an issue here. I got something going on. Are we still live? Are we still oh. streaming? I I imagine that we're still still streaming. But uh, yeah, I'm i uh, I'm pulling a little, little nuttiness here. Thank you for <laughs> paying attention. This will not be the. This they will not send yep. this show to uh, the uh, the Hall of Fame. They're not going to send no. this one anywhere. <laughs> you can believe that. We're not making it to the Broadcasters yeah, Hall of Fame with this one. <laughs> this, this one's not going <laughs> to... Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I thought maybe, but let me bring yeah, this up. a little bit, but you know, you never know. <laughs> All right. So I got that, and I wanted to bring up... Um, what I did was I, I, I enjoy engaging our community in uh and it's on facebook too and i understand a lot of people don't do facebook we also have a discord channel and uh we're active there too i think uh, some days are better than uh others you know some get, people get busy i put out a question and let's see if steve and i can uh, go over to it hopefully this is a proper size i can raise it up a little bit on our 100 watts in a wire facebook group you're welcome to join us there if you still do it it's an active uh you know it's an active site. People are still friendly, self-policing. The people who are rude end up kind of leaving anyway. So it's you know it's it's all fine. And um, so I'd like to put a question out there. Very simple one this week, Steve. Uh, what have you been doing with Ham Radio this week? You know, share your answers. A hundred and nine of them came in. So I don't. Wow. Uh, let me go ahead and load these up here. You know, people are uh, they're doing stuff. They're doing stuff with Ham Radio, and that's wonderful. Alan, Look at that, Alan. Nice. Alan has put up a new 80-meter full-wave loop. Again, if you're listening to the podcast later, there are visuals at 100 Watts in a Wire on YouTube. You're welcome to join us over there. Congratulations, Alan. That looks good. Looks real nice. That is awesome. <laughs> well, uh, let's see. Dave West says he's listening to the repeater in Warrensburg. That's all right. If you're uh, not able to... To uh, make the contact, listening's always good. I do a lot more listening than I do operating on oh, many days. Adam, he's chasing the parks. He said this week he was chasing the parks, doing a little FT8, figuring out what is RS232, Steve, cat control? RS232, uh, that is uh, the old serial cable. You know, your DB9, the old style, the old school, instead of using USB. Oh, okay. He's using the... Uh, because uh, you can use the uh, RTS, CTS, DTS leads as signaling. So uh, he's probably trying to get that all figured out. Okay, got it there. Hello to Jason. Jason's checking in from the chat. If you're new, put new in the chat tonight. Love to meet you and say hello. My name's Christian k 0 S T Jason. And Steve's W7UDI, the very famous call sign. There we go. Hello to Charles as well from Akron, Ohio. KD8. <laughs> Echo, Foxtrot, Quebec. You're five nine. Uh, Steve is here as well. He is here from Philadelphia. Five nine. Five nine. And to UZK, hello to you, David. 
You're Mark, five nine, Steve. <laughs> everybody's five nine here in the stream. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, Steve and I will roll right. through some of these and share what you've been up to. Curtis, I am mostly checking into old Miss Nets, primarily on 40 and 80 meters. I'm finding that I prefer those two bands the most of the others. Still trying to find out where my RFI source is. That sounds like a bummer. And he's giving us that upside down smiley face. Steve, uh, what, when you were getting uh, started out, did you try to figure out which we, your favorite bands were? Did you go back and forth at all? Um, it, it just depended what intent I had up at the time. And uh, it was, uh, and being a novice when I first started in HF, I was limited to 40 meters mm-hmm. and 15. So it was, uh, 40 was the uh, kind of the go-to band. And then once I upgraded and started getting into general, uh, uh, I was, uh, 15 became a really good band for me. I really had, I, I had a small little three element beam up at the house and uh it worked out i did really really well for some reason it just performed quite well uh on 15 and uh, maybe it was when the sunspot cycle was up uh but uh 20 uh i I didn't mess around in the beginning because it was all that all the big guys are there the big dogs you're going to get stomped on and uh later i found out that wasn't true (laughs) but uh it uh early on uh, it was 40 and probably 15 was the uh was the er uh, early odds on favorite i was an early disciple of dr bob uh canine eid and he would say put up a 40 meter he believed it was in his books he wrote books about mm-hmm. just 40 meters you got money during the day you got money at night was kind of his deal you know you didn't have to worry yeah. about where and uh so 40 meters to me was a big deal i, w- I knew i wanted to at least do that because i appreciated all the years he put in and he was sort of like that's a good band and then you can kind of figure out what you wanted. I ended up getting an 80-meter 80, 80 and a 40-meter trap um, from another fellow, one of the earlier um, Elmers of mine, and put it up so I had both. Got a little nutty because I didn't. I wanted more of the 80-meter band, and this guy was just like, look, kid. <laughs> He's the Marine, Lanny, N2R, no, N2R, uh, no, oh, it it's N0JZ, that's what it is. And he was kind of, he's old Marine, still a Marine, you know, that kind of thing. You're not going to get all of the band, you know, you can go out there and, and I kept going in and out, in and out, in and out. And I, I never did. And you, I, I don't think you ever do. You can get some broadband stuff going, but mm-hmm. the chances of you of getting that full band, pretty slim. Thank you for uh, letting us go off there for a second there. Uh, Tim activated a park. In Sierra in Nevada, Sierra. nice, yeah. cool temps up at five thousand feet. Yes, <laughs> jeez. Chuck says he's been fiddling with a nine to one onion and random wire. There you go. A little conversation about that. Just you know, that's one of those uh, trendy. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to make it sound like it's a bad thing. It's one of those antennas that people are enjoying uh, right now. Mm-hmm. It is popular to try an infid. Ryan says, I uh, had a hand club meeting, and uh, or a ham club meeting, even a hand club is a lot different. <laughs> That's a lot different. They killed that whole thing in the 70s. I thought it was going to be. Yes, uh, they did. You know, yeah, you, you think, thought it was going to go big, but it didn't. <laughs> you think Bezos has money? My hand club <laughs> idea. Man, if it would have just caught on. Larry has uh, been futzing around with his audio cables on his new G90. I remember talking to you, Steve, about the G90 and its and its cable. Yeah. The power cable was a little flimsy for my liking. I like that radio, mm-hmm. but that power cable was a little different. It needed to be Yeah, that's up. a little disappointing that they went uh, kind of on the low end or the low side with the power cable. Oh, so flimsy. Just, uh, I know the current wasn't there requirements, but still, it's just... Uh, it wasn't a, uh, a a stout enough cable, in my opinion, yeah, or too, connector. Too thin for such a cool little radio that d- does super well. Uh, Keith says uh, frost warning, so he's staying indoors and doing outdoor ham activities. Okay. Tom says I got my APRS droid working on his tablet in his truck. Mm-hmm. K1TA. 
dash nine. I'm not I'm not familiar with that mode, but uh, APRS certainly a little bit. Understand mm-hmm. that much uh, that much of it. Look Let's see. Let's see. Al says uh, he set up his all star radio node mounted on a server uh, server cabinet. And uh, got a rack mount power supply. Also got yeah, a, a GE. It's a GE mounted uh, GE rack mounted power supply. It's really big, beefy, about 30, 30 amps, uh, heavy duty. Hmm. Uh, just uh, great power supplies. Plus, I got plugs on the front, so you can plug your test gear in when you're working on something. Cool. Good job, Robert. He says uh, he's trying to take advantage of the two meter and seventy centimeter band openings in the upper Midwest. Only a few months left to play. Uh, Pedro. Yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Come on, Pedro, produce it. it. He says he's selfish. <laughs> oh man, he says dude, he's, uh, come on. Designing and simulating and optimizing a new antenna for eighty meters. And I quickly wrote for our listening audience, "Let's see it." Pedro wrote back and said, "I'm selfish." I don't like to share what I do. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. That tells me he's not quite ready. I want to see the reveal. I want to see it as sexy. Let's see. Joel says he's been at the hospital with his wife having baby number two, mostly just listening to dispatch to beat the monotony. (laughs) Well, congratulations uh, there, uh, Joel. That's awesome. Got a new baby, and I asked him. I hope that his wife is okay. Sometimes when... um, when the mamas have the babies, we got to remember as fellas now, when, you're, when your wives have babies, don't forget about, everybody's excited about the baby. Don't forget about don't mama. Don't forget about mama. Mama has carried that child for nine months and had it screaming out of her body. And don't forget that. You know that. So keep uh, mama in your thoughts too, as everybody's gushing over that baby. Mikey, he's been working on uh, two DOAFT 757s. Does that sound like he's got some uh, some yes, broken uh, ones? Yep, yeah, uh, I, I got a couple of them here too. They're great little radios, nice and small, compact. So uh, cool. I got one that the uh, Master Oscillator's off by 15 kilohertz or something. So I gotta tweak that one back in. Gotcha. Hey, if anybody has questions and you're in the Discord. Uh, we have a very small group of gathering there in the Discord. You're welcome to join us there. You could probably find it searching for 100 watts in a wire. I will try to drop the link down, or somebody can drop a link down. But if you're in the Discord and you want to drop into the uh, studio phone line, ask Steve or myself a question tonight, you can do that. We'll go Larry King style and take questions. Line five. Line five. Don, go. We'll just... We'll just have some fun with it tonight. <laughs> Let's see. Randy's picking up a few QSOs with uh, Straight Key Century Straight Club key. members. One in Sydney, Sydney. Australia. Fiji. Fiji. Wow. Italy. Work in the world. Nice. Real good. Awesome. Robert says emergency communications during the recent hurricane. Good job. Thank you for your service and using the amateur radio service to help people out. And uh, just a... Uh, a plug for my new channel. We have a 100 watts and a wire member um, give us video footage from Louisiana. He's 38 miles north of New Orleans, and he takes us through Sunday morning all the way to Tuesday trying to get gas. So uh, you're welcome. His name's Scott, and uh, look for that channel if you're interested in that sort of thing. But it was... Um, everyday life at the time and we had some exclusive stuff in fact scott he was uh he posted something to his twitter account and he put me connected me into it right and so all of a sudden cnn or um weather.com he had all these people Request entities coming can can we use your video can i get your permission to use the video and for one where they were dumping sandbags he put a video up he said yes just give me the credit for the image and then uh, he posted a second one, and he he said no, and he ended up just sending them to me. And so on Friday night, nice. I played it all back. So look for Citizen Kudnick if you're interested at all. Um, check that out because it's, a, it's an interesting look at his uh, ordeal. Uh, about forty, you know, forty miles tops north, power out, a whole the whole deal. 
Let's see, what do we got? Nice. Good picture, Chris. <laughs> like yeah, Chris said, up. he installed uh, his two-meter single sideband beam a few days ago. So today he had to uh, recalibrate his motor because the hurricane blew it off course about 30 degrees. He's got it right. He's holding on to it. He must be on a roof pitch, right? That's one of those roof yeah. Yeah, tripods. Yeah, looks like one of those uh, tripod roof-mounted uh antennas oh look at that oh sexy just oh, maybe if look I can at make that. that bigger without losing the, the whole thing oh, just give me a there second we go. oh lord yeah. let's just look at that look at that i love that the antenna up on the top and then the lower level mm, mm, mm. and then he has a vertical mounted on top of that sexy probably uh one of those 20 foot uh x2 oh x whatever 510s one of those big guys. Nice. It's Good beautiful. Deal. Good job. Very nice. Chuck, uh, Chuck says congratulations to him. Uh, Brian, several hundred uh, QSL cards coming from Bureau. I'll be sorting Oh, you're those. going to be busy. <laughs> yes, he is. Good evening to our friends in the chat. Scotty is there. Don is there as well. David and uh, KD9KCK, welcome. If you're new, uh, say hello. Put new in the chat. A lot of good people in there. Uh, be interested to talk to you and say hello. Jerry, he says, actually, just uh, looking at it sitting there, been too depressed to flip the switch. I think uh, Jerry had a death in the family, so uh, uh, sending him uh, all the best. Uh, He's going to be bummed out for a little while, but hopefully he'll he'll pull up soon and get back into it. Daniel logged his 7th and 8th QSO in uh, excess of 10,000 miles with VK6EI on 40 meters FT8 and 50 watts. He added a 4.5 uh, amp hour LiPo 4 Bio NO power battery to his uh, QRP kit and thus mm -hmm. no longer need to lug a 20 amp hour out with me. Good. So he's out there. He's making some contacts oh, yeah. on FT8. Have you made a contact on FT8 yet? No. I have no, not. I haven't even delved into it. Guess what, guys? I I get it, but we I, we're going to have to have a show, and somebody else is going to have to host it, talking about FT8, and I'll just sit there and watch because I get it. Yeah. But I wouldn't even know no, where I to start. It's an awesome mode and everything, but it's just uh, I haven't played with it yet. Now, that JS8 call, which is more of a keyboard-to-keyboard -keyboard mode, uh, I'm kind of getting interested right, in that yeah, one. Yeah. So okay. got to got to hit up Rex and uh, find out all the little details. Rex knows, man. Yeah. He knows Rex it. Rex is he, the man. He held a no, he held a net actually on uh, JS8 call. Is that what's called? Kenny, he's been uh, helping his brother Patrick, who is also a ham, build a keyer. He's been studying Morse code at lcwo.net. Very good. Which is a learn Morse code online. Let's see. David says he's putting the finishing touches on a 72-foot crank-up tower. Man, that's one of the things mm -hmm. I've always really wanted was a crank-up tower. Crank-up tilt over. Mm. Now that's, that's an nice. intense. That's a tower. That's nice. Thing rocks on 40. He says, Scott's pulling his hair out. I don't know if we should continue. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it too much, Scott. You'll don't, be like us. <laughs> don't do it. People are like, man, you really. I say that to people sometimes just to get the reaction. You know, they kind of uh -huh. give you the what? look up at the top of the head. Like, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, peeking in now to Uncle Paul here, N2HYG. He's running the net. Pause now to let him. Uh, let's see if anybody's calling for him. I, I couldn't get my logging software to open tonight for some reason. I guess I got a hiccup. Cheers, everyone. It's good to see you again. Hopefully, September's going to be an easier month for all of us. Oh, God, yeah. August was not cooling down on top of August was just nutty. Hot and nutty. Hot and nutty. Mm -hmm. There's Uncle Paul. We can hear him on the radio. Guys listening and girls listening to the podcast will hear our Sunday evening net. So 100 watts in a wire, just to be clear, won't change at all on your podcast. The audio will go there. The day has changed. We used to do Saturday morning, and maybe one day we'll return to Saturday morning. 
But um, right now, life uh, dictates that I'm with my children on Saturday morning, and that's all right. You guys understand. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see who's calling, just to see if Uncle Paul is getting any calls right now. Good evening, good morning. I don't know what time it is where Julian is. Oscar, Hotel 8, Sierra Tango, November. It's good to see you. Good evening to DJ. We we'll see you there. Hello, David. Scotty, hello. Good to see you again. We've got two Scotties in the chat tonight. Good to see you. Well, I wouldn't change anything. I just leave it the way it is. You're a solid. Don't uh, screw with success. <laughs> the brain had to kick in there. You're a solid 10 over S9, uh, bouncing to a little bit over. But uh, it's, it's working for you, my friend. Beautiful signal down here into New Jersey. Let's see if he's getting any right, callers here. Anything else for the net? Negative, negative, and you can check me off because... Uh, Every Sunday night, 7 o'clock, we have the 100 watts and a wire Sunday HF net. Maybe one day we'll add an FT8 net. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not ready. I don't know how to host it. I don't know how to do that. I like to tinker with motors myself. I enjoy I enjoy the small engines. They're easy to work on. And there's not much that goes wrong with them. So... A lot of a lot of people around the uh, the neighborhood uh, know that I I tinker uh, and, and I usually get things running so I, I save them a he little money and, they, and they, he they give tinkles. Me a little bit of money. <laughs> uh, not really, but uh, but who does? Yeah, it's, it's, he I just does it in his neighbor's yard. That's, yeah, exactly. that's, that's what I heard we'll on the Discord. That's what I heard. I don't know. Tonight on seventy two thirty nine is tonight's net. With, uh, Let's hear if anyone calls. This is November 2, Hotel Yankee Golf. The name here is Paul Papa Alpha Union Lima, and we're located in Tom's River, New Jersey. QRZ. Ah, nice little pilot. I have ending in uh, Tango Kilo. Tango Kilo X ray. W zero TKX. Hi, Reddy. Nice. Very, very good. <clears throat> We're going to have uh, Whiskey Zero. So good. He's got a pile up. He's got people working. I appreciate that. That is good. Thank you guys for that. And that's why I think Sundays are a good time for us to clip off our show, do our live stream, send the audio out to uh, the podcast side of town. And uh, I think that's going to work out all right. And then if things like a little special comes up or Steve and I go do the uh, DP special. We're going to do the DP special. I can't talk about it yet, but it means that Steve and I will tag team uh, on a frequency and then just run some calls like the old days. Exactly. So Steve, he says he's uh, he's been getting a VHF rig and antenna ready for mountain terrain use near the Canadian main border. That sounds like fun. Safety comms for a multi-route mountain bike race over remote. Uh, oh. Rugged and dangerous terrain. That sounds fun, man. I don't know. It sounds fun. I don't know. But maybe a little scary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be interesting. And, uh, yeah, probably we'll get a, uh, a cursory uh, visit from Border Patrol. Like, on, hey, what are you guys doing? What's that antenna? What you got there? Ken says he hasn't been doing anything with amateur radio this week, and that's okay, man. That is okay. Okay, Josh moved to Alaska, so he's waiting for uh, his radio gear to get here. It's been a month already. Oof. Wow. That's slow awesome. boat to China. Actually, it's slow boat to uh, Alaska. But you know what? You will be the DX, man. When you get that, that station up and you start saying you're in Alaska, boy, you're going to get it. You are going to get it. Marcus, nothing. Work and thunderstorms. i got to tell you, the last couple of weeks have been... Um, Unplug city okay. here for me too. It's been pretty rough here in terms of storms in recent times. Not brutal storms, just enough to carry lightning and keep you unplugged for a while. 
That's a bummer. How's your weather been out there? I've I've been following uh, you your morning. Uh, everybody sort of posts on Discord what the temperature is, right? And I know some people hate that. But, you know, we say, you know, we've got these weather machines here, these uh, weather, what are they called? Stations. We got our weather stations. Right now it's 67 degrees outside, 78 in here. It's a, it's a little warmer inside than, than out. <laughs> what are you looking at? Um, 77 outside and 82 here in the shack. Wow, it's pretty warm. <laughs> It's pretty warm. Yeah, that's why we got the got this shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a lightweight lightweight tea tonight for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, no, the mornings have been getting chilly here in the in the northwest. I love it. I'm like, Washington, dang, so. Steve, he's like 43. Got oh, yeah. my sweatshirt on, and, but it goes up in the in the 70s, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I like that. All right, good deal. Zachary says he's been listening. Web SDR, that's an interesting thing when you travel around. If you need your quick fix, I think the Web SDR is a great, a great tool. Oh, it's a great, and it's and a awesome tell them what tool. you use Even it for. If you're, oh, I use it for a number of things. And uh, well, the main thing is uh, as it's a diversity antenna. So you're like going, what? What's a diversity antenna? It's just another receiver, another antenna in a different location. And I use like the northern... Utah. So uh, I just take the audio out of computer, feed it into one channel of a little four channel mixer, and then uh, the radio audio is into another one. And then I just go between the two and I figure out, you know, listen for the best signal on which receiver and off you go. And so it's just like having two receivers in two different locations and, uh, and uh, it just works out great. The other thing that's great, and everyone should do this, because a lot of people ask me, well, how's my audio sound and this and that? Well, most of the time when I talk to you for the first time, I don't know your normal voice. But the Web SDR receivers have a record feature. So if you can get into a Web SDR mm-hmm. and just make a couple of, uh, just start the record. And then once you stop it, it uh, gives you a file that you download. And then it's just a WAV file and you just listen to it on your computer. So if you're making any audio adjustments on your uh on your equipment uh there you go and uh or if someone says hey i got uh, it sounds like you got rf on your uh, audio listen to yourself and hear what it sounds like then you go and fix whatever you need to fix and then test it again and you're good to go so the web sdr receivers are a great tool and plus it's if you're at work or at uh, way on uh, business or uh, just uh, have some time to kill, and you want to hear what's going on in the bands. So you just pull one up on your off your laptop computer and uh, and your phones, and away you go. So it's a great it's a great tool. All right, if you're just joining us on the stream here, uh, new time, same show, same whatever, same goofballs, your old friends, Christian and Steve. Uh, on a new day actually it's not really a new day but to do the show on this day is new we used to just live stream the net and that was fun i could get together and hang out with you that's all going to be incorporated in the show Uh, but we're actually going to send a show to the audio side the podcast because i've got the youtube so late that the the audience difference uh the, the audio people really love to listen to the audio side um and some some are finding us on the youtube but anyway so we're doing both because i love the live streaming i asked a question on youtube this week on youtube on facebook zuckerberg's thing um what are you working on this week the zucky if the zucky goes crazy we're gonna have to go to discord or somewhere else i don't know but i'm kind of putting my foot in the discord side because zucky is maybe a little nutty i think you get too much money steve and it's you know what I mean? You got to just, you might just want to step away and chill out. Oh, man. This, yeah. You don't have to yeah, have a, all the power. I know. Don't want to rant, but he might flip out and we need a place to go. Oh, you're freezing up a little bit on me. That's all right. Hopefully, I just not my side. I'm wired in. I don't know. It's a little weird tonight, for sure. Yeah, it has been weird. It's okay. So. That's all right. We'll, we'll push through it because that's what we do. We're hams. That's what we do. Kenneth says he checked in to the, uh, what is that? U.S. U.S.C.A. Zombie Zombie Alert. Alert. Fusion Net. Nice. What? (laughs) What Cool. (laughs) U.S.C.A. U.S.E.C.A. U.S.C.A. 
zombie alert fusion net. So sweet. <laughs> alert, alert. <laughs> awesome. Okay, that sounds so, fun. I don't know what city that's in, but uh, he's in N8UO. Okay, Kenneth. Very good. Uh, let's see. Adrian looks like he's messing around with his CB. Uh, Channel 9 CB added radials to the vertical. Uh, the USS nice. 9. I see. So he's uh, he's doing a little CB work. And here, uh, of course, it's a ham radio, amateur radio based show, but it's also really rooted in radio, and I don't run off anybody who is into CB, so I get it, I understand people are, are weird about it, but I'm, I'm not really weird about it. Uh, Juan, he's waiting for nighttime DX on 40 meters again, contact with South Africa the other night, 10,000 miles. 10,000 miles is pretty much it, right? I mean, that's pretty much the distance. Yeah, that's the other side of the world. That's, for the most part. Yeah, it's that's good. awesome. That's good. Good on you, man. Gary, he said he mounted a 40-foot uh, mast in the backyard for a hex beam. And today, did a parks on the air activation. Good on you, Gary. Look at you showing off. That sounds fun. Paul, pulling an 80-meter double, uh, no, a dipole back up after Ida decided to lower it a bit. <laughs> Damn, Ida. Jeez. Ida was rough. Just got to sit there and... Yep. Let's see. Oscar Echo. Alright, let's try it again. String him out. There's DJ. DJ. Yeah. Get DJ. DJ. Get yeah, DJ. DJ. He sounds good, man. <laughs> he sounds good. I'm he glad. Great. I'm glad the folks are finding. Uh, the net tonight. We use NetLogger in case you're listening to this and wondered about the net. We do Sunday night, 7 o'clock Central Time. Uncle Paul is on N2HYG. He's running on 40 meters tonight, 7239. If you're watching the stream, welcome. Uh, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, all that sort of stuff if you like. But uh, Steve will be running here in a little bit. I figure we'll, uh, we'll do the show in the first bit and then... Uh, Stream for about an hour. That's probably enough for most people. But I love to hear that you guys are calling and still participating. We use NetLogger if you ever get lost. He didn't pick up DJ. No. DJ was dragging. DJ was dragging his stones across the out here in the Midwest, right across my face out to you. Oh man. Yeah, I know he's a bit too close for Paul, so it might be kind of iffy, but uh, definitely had good propagation to you, so it did good. That's strong. It's fun. We'll kind of listen to them in the background, and we're, ju we're just sharing some of the community. Oh, there it is. Uh, Let see. Let's see. Yusa is... Uh, NetLogger, not a sponsor, uh, but yes, it does work with <laughs> Mac. I have it on my computer, but I, I had trouble getting my logging software to open tonight. I'm not sure yeah, what's up. Yep. Technology is a wonderful thing when it works. Weird night. It totally but the radio sounds great. Hopefully the uh, the stream's holding up for you guys. Good night to mm -hmm. Julian, who's going to bed now. He's on the other side of the world, speaking of. Good evening to Pastor Joe, an old friend. It's always good to keep someone, a man of the cloth, in our corner. When I say close, yeah, in our corner is better than close, because I prefer he stay in New Jersey. Then you know, <laughs> so distance isn't the thing. It's the okay. in the corner. Let me, of. let me let me do this. There you go, Pastor Joe. This is for you, buddy. Right here. And to our friends, cheers, everybody. Cheers. To a new to a new time. I hope Sunday evenings work out for everybody. And if not, you can watch the replay on YouTube. You can listen to the audio. Nothing will change. A uh, slight bummer uh, to leave Saturday mornings because I enjoyed it. I really look forward to Saturday morning. Frankly, I was up and ready to go at 7 in the morning. And so I'd just wait around here. And then I'm like, okay. Let's go. Oh, got to wait for Steve. <laughs> but no, no, I was just like, you know, because we were doing things at 9 o'clock. Then we would do something at 10 o'clock. So Saturday was good. But when you got those little children, it's uh, everything else is good, too, for them. You know, swimming lessons and dance classes and all those sorts of things. So that that's that. I appreciate everybody's patience, though. But Sunday, mark that in your calendars, in your mind at least. 
when it's net time, it's also show time for us. Uh, Red, that is Tom Brokaw. Tom Brokaw is a is not a ham. Uh, he is Tom Burklow. He repositioned his 10 meter dipole, upgraded the coax, added a ballon uh, to his end fed long nice. wire, and tidying up some cables. Tom, go ahead, man. Wow, Tom, way to go. Rodney's doing some simplex work, or he was this week. Uh, Duran is uh, ES and Aries work. Mike is doing some traffic nets. Uh, Tomo is, uh, he went to his first ham fest in Perth, Washington. Is that near you anywhere? Perth. Perth, that's down under. <laughs> well, what's W-A? Oh, maybe he's starting have, a new... I think... Perth, Perth, Perth Western Washington. Australia, Perth. I don't know. Yeah, I spoke with a guy who's on every morning from the U.S. A couple of unusual, uh, unusual guys. Yes, we're unusual here in the U.S. Yes. <laughs> yes. No arguments. No arguments from us. John's doing some FT8. Made his uh, second Australian contact. Maybe with Tomo. With Tomo. Maybe. Nice. Jim, he rebuilt his G5 RV, which was damaged by uh, wind in the spring and made a temporary fix then. But now he bought some number 14 Flex Weave, which should not break. Mm. I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know. Number 14 could break, especially if you do a... uh, Give it to us. We'll we'll break it. (laughs) Give it to me. Let me make a 160 out of it. I'll show you what will break. Ugh. Yeah. But I hope not. I just, hope it's just put it up in a high C and it will it will bust. <laughs> Holy moly! But good. 14's pretty much standard wire, right, Steve? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mess around I with 16 a little bit, but I, 14's right where you want to be, I think. Mm-hmm. Listen to them, John. There's DJ. <laughs> So as you're listening to the audio podcast now, we'll be listening a little bit to our Sunday evening HF net. And if you're new to the podcast, we do one. If you got HF radio, 7 o'clock Central Time, 40 meters usually. I don't know if Steve will pick up 40 or go to 20. I know that's kind of his magic uh, spot. You going to go to 20? Okay. Yep. But so uh, we'll have this in a, as our background support as we go uh, along. Uh, just a few more here, and then we'll we'll wind things down. Let's see. What's Ron say? He's uh, working last-minute details on a special event activation this weekend. Whiskey for Victor. Okay. This is Deer Hunts for Heroes. Nice. Bring awareness Very to the group nice. that helps provide and support network for disabled veterans through the use of deer and pheasant hunts. Good for you. Nice. Good for you. Excellent. James, uh, mostly a lot of FT8, but also planning for a new antenna installation to go up this fall. Many other people. I, I like leaving these questions because, uh, you know, it's it's cool to, to, to talk, you know. But uh, I don't want to just be the guys talking at people. You know, that community, it's a two-way street. And, and so these sorts of things are ways for me to ask you what you're up to and we can talk about it a lot of things come out of this so having a community is great let's see adam uh he's working on a weekend project antenna switch coax bridge uh scott says he's working on nothing good for you scott (laughs) that's good paul built the five element six meter yagi Mm-hmm. Uh, so we can pretty good, pretty good. Everybody's staying busy. Let's hear him call again. Patrick, oh, Patrick, there's Patrick. He uh, finished up his CQWPX mixed awards, submitted all that paperwork. Good job, Patrick. Good for you, Patrick. Congratulations on that. Let's see, so we can any love. There's UED again. Smack. I hope he picks him up because he keeps dropping them on me. Uh, is that Juliet November whiskey? Roger, Roger. Paul, get DJ. 
Just get PJ. Oh, pull DJ up. I'm tired of like, you know, he's dragging him across my head here. That's a good deal. You know what? I, I had another idea. I'm never short on ideas. You know, our favorite girl is 99 years old. In January, oh, she's going to turn 100. So what I want to do is I want to do a special event, and I imagine hams are going to roast me for a Oh, God. we're going to get annihilated. <laughs> we're gonna but get you know killed. what? Who cares? It's Betty White. Who? Betty White is going to turn 100. She's a national treasure, for God's sake. And we'll hear, you know, I want to put together a special event, but sometimes my ideas are too big for my uh, capabilities. So we'll see if we can gather a, a team of like-minded folks to uh, come and help sort out this special event station. I have this dream of celebrating Betty White. I hope she makes it to 100. And if she does, in January, maybe we do a day or two special event celebrating her great long life. I mean, jeez. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe it's not the best idea in the world. But you know what? I did hear a special event, and it was a lady who did some experimentation who wasn't a ham, but her experiments led to innovation. Amateur. Mm -hmm. And so people would say, was she a ham? You know, as they worked the the net control people and they, they'd be like no but she was an innovator and the technology she was working on became something in technology so when they're like is betty white a ham honorary i, I think an honorary yeah. ham yeah i would go test her at, at 99 but look at this we have some support here mr butler says i'm all in all right <laughs> Pastor Joe yeah, says he's in. It looks like he'll he'll be in there to do that. I, I, it just went through my mind was having a uh, a group of one by one calls, where the uh, suffix would be a letter in Betty White. We would have to have a lot of operators hmm. to uh, to operate as you know with Betty White W something B and then another one E. Oh, you know, I so see what you're talking e's. about. And then if everybody contact and makes, you know, gets it all spelled out, it's the, uh, you know, the old uh, Christmas story, the uh, Ovaltine uh, de secret decoder ring. And uh, <laughs> I like this. I like the way you're thinking here. Mm, and it just spells out Betty White, and it's like, hmm, interesting. But we, you know, you'd have to incentivize it for something. But it'd be kind of fun. But the, yeah. if you had enough operators, we but, have some uh, time. And it, it was just one of these half-baked things. I was actually taking my daughter uh, to swim class. And I was thinking, how old, when is her 100th birthday? 100. And you know, Ed Asner passed away. Um, who just passed the weatherman? Uh, Willard Scott. Willard Scott, after 65 years on television, got to give big respect to him. But he passed away. And so, you know, that that group is passing on and I'm hoping that she makes it to 100. Jeez, every day is a great thing. Um, I'm willing to take the heat. I'd probably need some people to, to come. If we had enough people doing it, we'd be able to suppress the haters that are like, Betty White, ugh, eh, ugh. But, okay. uh, but there, let us there would know. be a lot of people that would, you know, when they stop and thought about it, it's like, oh, yeah, she's, you know. They're, they're at that, you know, generation and uh, where they, you know, watched her over the years and things. And she made it to 100. Yeah, hey, I mean, why not? I hope so. I hope she does. So if you're interested in that, I mean, maybe look it up on Discord. We're on Discord and there's a little bit of talk going there. We talk a little bit on Facebook. We're there, but some people like Steve don't. They don't play around on Facebook. Steve, Sidecar Steve, does Discord. Imagine that. Yes. So if you're interested in knowing how cold it is where he lives every morning, everybody checks in with the temperature, uh, join us on Discord. And if I can find that quick enough, I will uh, drop I will drop it in there for you and let you know exactly what that is. Let me go ahead and find it now and and We'll listen to Paul run a little bit. A lot of people out here uh, hollering, so uh, have a good evening, Paul. Thank you. Yeah. Kilo Charlie 3, India, Romeo, Foxtrot. 
Pull it up. It's a weird uh, night. It is one of those weird nights, y'all. Right yeah. The technology. It's uh, weird on my end. It's been weird on my, my end. Uh, I'm going to go and grab this Discord, and I will put it in our chat. So if you're new here and interested in the Discord, but if I can find enough people to help out, I think I've got a pretty full plate here with family stuff and the, and the two shows that I'm working on so if I can get some hands on deck to help me get this thing together I'll do the Betty White special event for sure 100 watts and a wire sponsored deal I bet you I could even work out some kind of weird prize I don't know I don't know we can figure something out but she's worth it to me and and if you've been with the show enough you'll remember Steve and I and we may have to go do it again we may have to do these meet and greets again and uh, we would make jokes that Betty White, we would talk about Betty White. My other crush is Lucille Ball, who passed, uh, but absolutely loved Lucy for real. Uh, but Betty White became the staple in our conversations. I don't know why, but it's true. And then somehow the algorithm got kicked with it, and then it was just, and then we just took it and ran with it. It was just, uh, yeah. it was a blast, and, and that, it just stuck with us. Everything I, I would look up on YouTube, Betty White would come up because I know they're listening to the show or something's going on. But next thing it's like, do you like Betty White on The Tonight Show? Here it is. Or here's Betty White in Golden Girls. Here's Betty White in the 40s. I'm like, how are you hearing about all this? So I think, I think it really does listen. All right. So what, I think we've done a little bit of that. Keep the Betty White in your mind. Uh, David says that uh, the Betty is sweet and salty. Just funny. She played the uh, airhead on um, Golden Girls and just all these other cool bits. And then they kind of, in, in later in her life, they sort of packaged her as the the grumpy, like, sharp-witted comedian, like, you know, that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's just all in fun. And, you know, it's good good to find spots in ham radio to at least celebrate our elders. How about that? That's what we'll say. Exactly. There you go. Uh, we've got a we've got a call on the line here, Steve-O. we got a couple of minutes. Let's see. Uh, Pastor Joe, you copy? Let's see. Somebody posted a photograph. Uh, Pastor Joe is on mute, but uh, if he unmutes, he can join us here on there the show. There we go. There we go. Hey, you Pastor Joe. I can hear you. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you, Christian? Good to see you all. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming on the uh, new Sunday. I know Sunday is tied up for you. You give your Sometimes. your times to the uh, the church for most of the day, I imagine, but hopefully Sunday night yep. will work out. What have you yeah. been up to? Um, well, I uh, just had dinner with my daughter and son-in-law, and that was very nice. Now I'm checking in on the net, and i uh, going to play around with a little uh, video editing just for kicks. I got out on my new kayak this week. That was an awful lot of fun. Nice. And, uh, so, yeah, it's an inflatable kayak, Steve, and uh, I love it. I love it because it, 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 it's portable and I can stow it, you know? Oh, yeah. Now, do you inflate it on, on site, or uh, do you inflate it at yeah. home and then, okay. Yeah, I, yeah it comes with a really cool, I can inflate the whole thing in seven minutes. Um, it's a uh, nice. fishing kayak, it's, yeah, very heavy duty, 12 feet long. Uh, the wife and I went out uh, yesterday, and uh, it was just beautiful being on the water, you know, very peaceful. So, yeah, it was fun. Good deal. It's good to hear from you. I'm going to take another call. 
Uh, say a prayer. Uh, keep the lights yep. on. Light the candles. Do whatever you can do <laughs> to put in a good Absolutely. word for me and Steve. Because every time we get together, right. we make it worse. I need to help. Yeah, we we <laughs> make it good. worse. It's not good. Guys. All the good work that you do, we mess it all up. <laughs> Seven three, Joe. <laughs> Uh, DJ, DJ, what's the big idea dragging your uh, cojones across the Midwest like that? You copy me? I hear you, and I wasn't trying. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, sure. I would try. Modestly, I wasn't trying. <laughs> yeah. Right off. Splat. I mean, at least wear drawers <laughs> if you're gonna do stuff like that. <laughs> what's going on with you? Nothing. Just sitting here listening. Did you get uh, in, to Uncle Paul? No, I didn't get in. Never got in. Wow, your signal sounded great. And if you listen to this back, you'll hear it for sure. Oh, just awesome. You were just perfect into the Midwest, so doing good. Well, keep trying. I, I am uh, contractually obligated to send uh, Steve-O in. He's ready to rock and roll on 20 meters. So I'll say 73 uh, to you now. We'll wrap up the show and send it out to the audio folks. Uh, have a great night, DJ. All right, guys. Have a good night. And Steve, talk to you in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll see you. You got it, buddy. We're looking forward to it. We'll see you in the Discord. And, and in fact, I may tune up and uh, come rock a little bit, too. Let me see if I can check in tonight. All right, 73 to you, 73 to all of our friends. I appreciate you all coming. Steve, I hope you find a frequency now that it's after the uh, QSO parties. Where are you sitting now for our people in the stream? I'm sitting at my usual spot, uh, 268, 14268, and on the uh, on the pan adapter, it's looking. Uh, let's see, let's get it right. Okay. So off to the right of it, it's uh, fairly clear. There's someone on uh, 265 right at the moment. So we'll uh, we'll end up. Uh, we'll, We'll start operating from there. So, Good work, Steve-O. We're heading out for the night. Steve, 7-3, thanks for being here tonight. We'll listen seven, to you three. on 20 meters, 14 two, six, eight. Guys, take care of yourselves. Look out for each other. And by all means, if you can, please try and stay above the noise, 7-3. Seven, 7-3, three. Seven, three, y'all. To join the 100 Watts in a Wire community, visit 100wattsinawire.com.